Welcome! Today, we'll be going through question 4 from the Russian Maths Olympiad, 1996. In the Duma, there are 1,600 delegates who have formed 16,000 committees of 80 people each. Prove that one can find two committees having no fewer than four common members. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. Suppose that in a class, the average number of homeworks each student is given is 4.7. Then, because the number of homeworks for each student is an integer, at least one person has five pieces of homework or more, and at least one person has four pieces of homework or less. You may be familiar with this hint from a previous video, and this is because the same technique will be used to solve this video, just in a slightly less obvious way. If you would like to watch the previous video, feel free, it should come up in the suggested around about now. Hint number two. Jensen's inequality will be needed to simplify one of the probabilities, and it states that for convex function f, a1 multiplied by f of x1 plus at multiplied by f of xt, all the way to plus an multiplied by f of xn, is greater or equal to f of a1 x1 plus a2 xt, all the way to plus an xm, where a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus an is 1. For concave functions, it will be exactly the same, but the inequality sign would be less than or equal instead of greater or equal. Less than or equal instead of greater or equal. Hint number three. What is the expected number of shared delegates for two committees randomly selected? How would you go about finding this? Hint number four. Xi choose two is the number of pairs of committees that share the i delegate. Try applying this to hint number three. Solution. Let x1, x2, x3, x4, x1600 be the number of committees the i delegate is in. Then, because there are 1,600 delegates, 16,000 committees, and 80 people in each committee, the sum of all x size is equal to 16,000 multiplied by 80, which we can rewrite as 1 divided by 1,600 multiplied by the sum of x size equal to 800. Because the i delegate is in xi committees, the number of pairs of committees that share the i delegate is xi choose 2. So the sum of xi choose 2 denotes the number of pairs of committees sharing a certain delegate for each delegate. So to get the expected value of number of shared delegates for two randomly selected committees, we need to divide this by the total number of pairs of committees, which is 16,000 choose two. So we get the sum of all the xi's choose two divided by 16,000 choose two. Now we can rewrite this as the sum of f of xi's divided by 16,000 choose 2, where f of m is a convex function, which is n choose 2. Now we can compare this to Jensen's, setting a1 equals a2 equals a3 equals a n as 1 over 1,600, which will give us the sum of x size choose 2 divided by 16,000 choose 2, greater or equal to 1,600 multiplied by f of 1 divided by 1,600 multiplied by the sum of x size, 
divided by 16,000 choose 2, which we can simplify as 1600 multiplied by f of 800, as we've seen previously, divided by 16,000 choose 2. We further simplify this to get 1,600 multiplied by 800 choose 2 divided by 16,000 choose 2, which is 1,600 multiplied by 800 multiplied by 799 divided by 16,000 multiplied by 15,999. The two factorials cancel, which is 800 multiplied by 799 divided by 10 multiplied by 15,999. Now we can easily check that this is greater than 3. It is in fact almost 4. And so for two randomly selected committees, the expected number of shared delegates is over 3. This means that we can find two committees where the number of shared delegates is at least this value, which is 3 point something. So at least 4 because the number of shared delegates has to be an integer. And so the solution is complete. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below and see you next time.